Yo, what up? Welcome back to the Needing Art channel. Today we're going to be recreating one of the worst posters of all time. The UFC 300 official poster. No, I think they went this way because they're trying to move towards more being about the brand uh, and less so about the fighters so they have more control, but it's always been that way. But anyways, poster's pretty terrible. First things I want to get into is I think the 300 and the little squiggly line was probably a custom font made for the UFC. I'm not sure. Um, it could be a font that was already in existence, but I couldn't find it. Either way, I'm just going to run with that logo and that that font. Like, I'm not going to, you know, recreate it myself. So, aside from that, you know, that shouldn't have took whoever made it very long. Um, it's just It's just a flag. It's just some light leaks and the same font they always use in the T-Mobile Arena logo. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First things first, I'm going to go to File New. These are the settings I'm using. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to Solid Color. And I'm just going to like pick this little color right here. It's kind of like a goldish color. And then this background right here is just a... It's just a flag from like Adobe stock or iStock, I believe. Um, and I found the exact flag and it is this flag right here. Um, so what we're gonna do is click here and uh, click delete so we can delete the white background. And then we're gonna drag the flag over here and try to get it lined up how it is on the official poster, which that's about that's fine whatever we'll rock with that uh, and then what we want to do next is we want to go to human saturation and make sure you clip that to the flag as opposed to clipping it to everything because then you would change the background color um, and then we can just kind of mess around until we find that particular gold um, and then you want to remove some of that saturation there. Not, you don't want to remove all of it, but. So I'm going to rock with that. I mean, that's not 100%, but they probably have like levels and other stuff. But for now, we'll do that. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this right here. I'm going to bring this up here and we're going to mess around a little bit. Um, you know, that's fine. We'll, we'll go ahead and do that. And then it looks like they have the light leaks up here. So we're going to make sure like our opacity and everything's like, well, you don't want to go crazy with it, but they're just clicking with like a white brush. I mean, there's other ways to do this that they, they might not necessarily be just clicking with a white brush, but get rid of that over here in the corner come down here and then that's fine we can do it up here some more so it's wider but I'm gonna come over here and put this all in a group and create a layer mask and then I'm gonna just do that that's fine now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and grab the uh, the 300 with the, the UFC, uh, whatever you want to call it, logo, font, whatever you want to call it, we'll call it that. So I just grabbed this off of Twitter. This is like some stats, UFC 300 bullshit. <laughs> um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure, I'm going to grab my magic wand tool and I'm going to make sure anti-alias and uh, make sure contingent isn't checked and I'm going to hit control J. And then I'm going to grab contingent, and then I'm going to click right here on this little squiggly line and I'm going to hit control J. Now I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to merge all this together, merge layers, and I'm going to delete the stats because we don't need stats. And then I'm going to go to blending options and I'm going to hit color overlay and just make sure that it's white. And then we're going to rest, we're going to convert that to a smart object. Oops. I'm going to convert that to a smart object. Bam, bring that over here. 
and try to size it up how it is on there and we'll kind of rotate that a bit uh, and do it like that okay the squiggly line doesn't look great but it, it is what it is that's how I'm rocking with it that's how I'm rocking with it okay I'm gonna put this in a group and then I'm gonna go to blending options and drag this over here boom and now we have this in a group and I'm gonna create a layer mask and I'm gonna make sure everything's super low um, and I'm just gonna boom like that and come over here some more and then make it smaller and uh, just keep doing that in random spots so we you know you're kind of you're erasing some of it but in, you're getting some of that uh, flag texture in the background that does appear to be what they did I mean they could have done so many different things everything can be done different ways in Photoshop you'll learn that as you continue to use it if you do use it okay I mean I think that looks pretty close so now the next step is to do the text for the uh, the text for the date so we're gonna do APR 13 sat space 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 pay-per-view and we're gonna make this smaller sure that works and then I'm going to zoom in and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type on and I'm going to hit control T and make that a lot smaller bring that over here actually do that and then grab a rectangle tool I didn't even say rectangle right uh, let me just go ahead and create a rectangle right there and then we can zoom out and see how that looks um, I mean that looks pretty close this um, let's resize this so everything looks the same so okay so they clearly got a little bit more white in the light leaks but that's all right I can fix that so that looks pretty spot on let's go ahead and grab the T-Mobile Arena logo so we got the logo right here let's drag that into our canvas let's go to blending options and let's go to color over what color overlay um, and let's rasterize the layer style make that way smaller that's probably good bring that right here and now all that's really left is I guess we can mess with this some more we could go click levels and see what you get bring the blacks out more and uh, you could probably make a pop more like that but you know to eat to each his own um, I'm just showing you guys how you can basically recreate this so now what the only thing that's left is to add the fighters name which I've seen several posters that didn't even have the fighters names right there I think people were bitching and they're like oh you know and they tried to do it last minute but I'll let me see here I mean I don't I don't really feel like figuring out which font they used I'm sure it would take me all but five minutes but I don't have five minutes to do something I don't want to do so we will just and I'm just gonna spell all these names wrong uh, so let's do Pereira space Hill Zhang Yan Gaethje Holloway Oliveira Armand I know that's not his last name but I don't know how to spell his last name Nickel Brundage clearly way too big right that's fine doesn't matter um, you know I think they might have used like Morganite or something so we could just switch that last minute oops then they probably used like maybe medium and so we can make this bigger you know I don't know now I'm, now I'm second guessing myself it is what it is um, and then the, then I'm gonna set this to soft light and then what I'm gonna do is drag this over here and I'm gonna duplicate it 
bear with me. You can just type whatever name you want, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna make this little under here, and then I'm gonna duplicate that and make that little under there, and then uh, go from there. So I'm gonna zoom in, and this second one right here, and then this one right here, oops. Now let's zoom out and see how that looks. So that's that's like that's the poster right there. I don't know how long that took us, um, but we could do like one last thing, add another light leak, make sure white is our color. Um, but yeah, that is that poster. One of the worst posters of all time, especially for the biggest event in UFC history. Uh, they really fumbled the bag. I would be extremely upset if I was on this card and this was the thing that I was signing. Uh, it's just terrible. Um, but the card is phenomenal. Main event all the way down to the first prelim fight is going to be absolutely insane. And I'm stoked. So um, let me you guys uh, know what you want to see next. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And let me see what you want to see more of on this channel so I can try to get that to you. Um, but yeah, peace.